Hi, Brett Warren here, your trusted resource for the Brisbane property market. Um, and today, Christina Lennis joined me. How are you, Christina? Good, how are you? Very well, thanks. Um, Christina's our Head of Property Management, and we've just been discussing at our end of financial year meeting um, how our property management portfolio is performing. And there's a few key points there that I think um, really stood out for me. The first one was days on market. Um, our average days on market is uh, 12 days um, when compared to the industry average of 42. So there's quite a substantial difference there. Mm -hmm. um, what are you guys doing that um, the average investor or the average agency isn't doing? Yeah, look, I think it's really important that each property has its own strategy um, and that will certainly help you to secure a quality tenant a lot quicker. So really for us, it's, a, you know, 96% of all your inquiry will come through the online portals now. Yeah. Um, so gone are the days where obviously tenants ask for the rental list. Therefore, your positioning online is so important. So are you on page one of realestate.com or are you on page five? Yeah. Um, are you getting two to 300 views per day or are you getting upwards of seven, 800? So those um, small um, adjustments yeah. um, in your campaign can actually make a very big difference to yeah. how quickly you do secure a tenant. Little things like um, always using professional photos, we want yeah. to highlight that the property and the features that it has. Yeah. Um, and also including tenant-friendly inspection times. So if you've got an agent who's showing a property at Wednesday at 3 p.m., that's agent-friendly, that's yeah. not tenant-friendly. Yeah. And it's certainly not gonna help us to attract the demographic that we want, which in the CBD and the surrounds is, is most likely going to be professionals and families. Who are working there. Yeah. Correct. Um, you did mention agent friendly there. I've had a couple of experience with property managers that I've had in the past that um, tend to finish their lease dates in awkward times um, that suit the, the agents rather than myself. Um, can you talk about the busier times and why it's important to end your lease date when there's the highest amount of demand? Yeah, well, look, what we want to do is make sure that your property is positioned at the best possible time in any calendar year. So January and February and June, July, what we see is we see a tenant inquiry peak. So we get lots of tenant inquiry, which means more people at your open home, which means then um, what we want in the ideal world is multiple applications. Mm. So positioning yourself in those two times of the year is going to help you to secure a quality tenant in a timely manner, and you're going to reduce your days on market. Yeah, great. Um, also, we also discussed about uh, a couple of other things and a couple of other points. And if you are you know, thinking about shopping around and talking to other agents, um, about um, you know, bringing them on board as your property manager. Um, when they're sitting down with people, what are some of the questions people can ask? Um, sometimes you get bamboozled with the brochures and the glossy magazines and stuff like that, but what are some key points and some key data that they can ask for in return? Mm. Look, that's really important. I think um, you know, that initial impression is a very important one. Um, you want to feel comfortable, you want to be able to trust the person that you're, mm, you're putting definitely. your largest asset with, and you certainly do want to have that rapport with them. However, this is a long game for us. So 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the track, we're going to still have this asset and this, this business. Mm. Um, and you need to know that the agent that you put in charge of the care of your property or your portfolio can actually continue to perform. So two questions I always recommend any owner asking is what is your arrears rate yep. um, and what is your vacancy rate? So vacancy rate in an ideal world, you would sit at 0% across a whole portfolio. Yep. Um, we currently sit at 0.8%, which in June, July is a fantastic result yep. because yep. it's a peak lending period. Yep. The industry average is 3% for vacancy. So the more vacancy you have in a portfolio, um, the more red flags there is, okay? Yep. So that means properties aren't renting um, in a timely manner, tenants aren't um, renewing their leases. Um, the other question being arrears um, really comes down to the management of the portfolio. So if you've got an agent that has very high arrears, what that means is that they may have tenants that are not paying their rent on time, right. which can lead to cash flow issues as an investor. Um, and it can also lead to other issues. A lot of the time, rental arrears will come hand in hand with malicious damage. Yeah, sure. So with your arrears rate, rate you always want to keep that as low as possible. We currently sit at 2.8% and the industry average is five. Yeah, great. 
Look, thanks very much for sharing that. Um, I think Shannon, our director, always says that um, vacancy is always the enemy of the investor mm -hmm. um, because you're not getting income into your business. So um, there's a few really good key points there. Obviously, we're doing it extremely well, and you guys do a great job of keeping those numbers quite low and definitely well below the industry average. So um, if there's anything we can do for you to assist you, um, you know, provide a second opinion or anything like that, please do get in touch. Um, thank you for your time, and, and thanks for listening. I hope you got something out of the session.